Welcome to the brief video tutorial on Faro Reality from Faro Technologies. My name is Dean Pearson. In this brief video, we're going to show you how to incorporate scaled Google Earth images to create 3D Google terrain, and then how to marry the 3D terrain with your Faro scan to fill in missing visual information. Let's start by showing you how the 3D terrain tool works. First, I'm going to go to our Google Map interface, and I'm going to navigate to a location in my hometown of Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. This is a top-down 2D view of a very hilly area, but as I bring the scaled image in, you'll see the issue. This is just a flat plane. Because we are Google partners, we get access to all of the mapping information collected by the Google cars. Watch what happens when I click Download 3D Terrain. We take all the Z values presented by Google and we can create a topographical representation of the area around us. Take it one step further if we were to take a vehicle and put it on our scene right over here and if I were to animate it driving up here you'll notice that the vehicle actually follows the terrain when I put it into motion. So the idea is we get all of the Z elevation here. These are represented by these dots and we drape the Google scaled image over top of it. This becomes a very powerful tool when you start incorporating your Faro scans as well. I'm going to start off by bringing in a Faro scan that was sent to us by our home office in Lake Mary, Florida. Now, for those of you that have been to Florida, you'll know that it's not a very uh, uh, hilly area by any stretch of the imagination but I'll still bring this in and we'll show you how to marry it with a Google map now I'm gonna bring in the 3d terrain but because this is such a flat region you're not gonna see a lot of change in the map itself but you'll understand the process as soon as this uh, scan gets brought in again this is from the headquarters in Lake Mary Florida shouldn't take too much longer to bring in and it's done now when we first bring in scans you'll notice uh, over here as I select the point cloud it's in draft mode what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see the change as I up the quality when I go to high quality view you'll see all of the points that were shot Now what we're going to do is go get our Google map. First thing I'll do is I'll hide the image. Then I will go get a Google map of our offices. I'll scan out so that we get an area here large enough to incorporate the scan. That looks like it should work. Now I bring that in and again it's a flat image. I will select the map and I will download 3D terrain and not a lot of elevation points here but you can see they were brought in and you can see that there's a rise here and as we look at the image from the side you can see that there is in fact Z or elevation information here. So now I'm going to go to a top-down 2D view. I'm going to unlock my Google Maps so that I can manipulate it over here and now I want to get agreement between my scan and my map so I'll bring my scan back in and there it is and now I need to use the grips here to move my map around now the area of interest is up here this is the front of the building so I need to just line up the front of this building with this portion of the scan and I should be in pretty good shape looks like I need to do a little rotation here and I'll bring it down like so now I'm going to relock my map so that it doesn't change and then I'll go into a 3D view and show you what we have here. Now we've got the scan over top of the Google map which is okay so far but I need to change the elevation so that the contours of the ground actually agree with the scan. So I'm going to once again unlock my map and you can see here I've got a raise or lower grip for my Google map and I can simply raise or lower this Google map until it just starts to touch the surface and I'm happy
happy with that. And now as I move around, you can see that by incorporating the scaled Google Earth image and the Faro scan, I've got a very lifelike representation of the area. I'll go ahead and I'll lock down this uh, scan so that we can move around a little easier. And when I get to an area of interest, I can just zoom into it, update my view, and all of the points that were shot are brought into view. While we're at this location, I'll very quickly show you how we can incorporate the Surface tool as well. This is something that a lot of our customers really like, and you'll see why in just a second. This comes in especially handy when you're dealing with an accident scene where there's you know, gouge marks and those types of things on the road and you want to capture them. What I'm doing is I'm bringing out my selection box, and I'm actually going to select an area of the pavement that I want to create a surface on. And you'll see why momentarily. As I use the raise and lower grip, you can see here as I get down onto the ground surface. Now I'm just going to simply select the points in the selection. I can tell that I've selected them because they're all blue. Now I'll go to my surface tool. It's going to create a surface from the points that I've selected. Would I like to move the selected points to a new hidden layer? Yes. I'll now select my selection box and delete it. And I'll now hide my point cloud. And you'll see what we're left with. Oh, turn on my image, hide the point cloud. And you'll see what we're left with is the surface that we created from the scan. As you can see, very detailed. All the road lines are on here. Our handicap marks are there and everything. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that as well, especially if you're a collision investigator. So you can easily see by incorporating Google Maps scaled, Google 3D terrain, and your Faro scan, you can fill in a lot of missing visual information. Thanks a lot for watching.